Hello everybody, welcome to this video. There was a slime outside of my thing. Heck you. Oh, that was that was a bad idea on my part. Anyway, I made a custom made plugin that does a ton of stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have launched that so close to my thing. I'm pretty sure fire spreads is off. Pretty much I made a custom made plugin that allows me to do stuff like this, and it's incredibly fun. Anyway, let's throw that in the pit of fire and continue. Here inside I have set up everything. Ignore that. And uh, the first item is the bat staff. Now, you get this from killing bats. So, let's do a simple little chamber over here. Like this. And just pop a bat in there. Pop a buoy. And then just punch it. Like a few times. I uh, dropped a feather. Oh, come on. I'm still on my phone. Because I can't really use my computer. And, yeah. My computer can't record. Because I don't have a graphics card in the thing. And OBS uses graphics card. Anyway, I got a bat, bat staff. It allows you to jump higher, you float, and you run faster. So it's pretty good. Thing, uh, it's pretty good for a ton of stat boost. But then you can also go outside over here and just go wha pow. Except that only has one HP, so that wasn't a good example. It doesn't do an exceptional amount of damage, but it doesn't do anything to scoff at. It's like a decent weapon. Uh, something around I think like the stone sword or iron sword uh, does around that amount of damage. So yeah, it's it's a decent weapon put it in here. Oh, pow. Next up, this is one of the most overpowered items that you can craft. It's called the Bible. Um, I made it overpowered because I found it hilarious. Anyway, here's the Bible. Pretty much grants you immunity with a ton of other stuff. Not that good of a weapon, but then again, you do get to live. It even um, regenerates your hunger. So it's kind of like a last resort kind of thing. You can still die while holding it if it's a huge amount of damage, but from the majority of mobs and stuff, the Bible is like the best protection you can get. Okay, next up, two of these guys. It's the Diamond Levitation Rod. Now, the Diamond Levitation Rod, you just craft by grabbing a shulker shell and two diamonds, and it makes this. Now, I am using a texture pack. This is not the actual texture pack for the plugin. I just like it. Anyway, it's pretty much a bat staff, but it also does more damage. Uh, it doesn't give you the speed. All in all, it's not the best, but it's also used in a ton of late game. Uh, things and that's why it's so expensive because of the stuff it's used in like the stuff that uh, Yeah, the stuff that it's used in next thing this one is called the golden snake snap staff now You just go like this with your iron and boom you got it Looks like this gives you resistance and uh, I think a health boost. No, it gives you a regen uh, If you run over to over here uh, You just whack stuff. It's pretty much a bat staff that with different upgrades I uh, I think it does much the bat staff. Might do a little more, might do a little less. I can't fully remember. Uh, it does not have the best durability. Keep in mind, these, all of these right here have durability. Next up is the Iron Dagger. This one also has durability, and I am clarifying that because some of the ones later do not have a durability. And so, they become incredibly cool. Anyways, the Iron Dagger gives you slowness, but also grants you invisibility and also night vision. Uh, it does a decent amount of damage, but it's pretty much... Uh, uh, a little stealthy dagger. Uh, next up is the flintlock. You just grab all of this. Uh, you put your iron right there. You grab your bit of redstone, put it right there. Lever goes right there. Flint, because it's a flintlock, so you kind of need flint right there. Then you just pop a stick right there. Boom, you got your flintlock. Now, this is a decent range weapon. Uh, doesn't really, like, you can just snipe things quite easily. Uh, it does not have a durability. So, this is one, the first weapon that doesn't have a durability. Pretty good weapon. Um doesn't do mass amount of damage but it's nothing it's pretty much a long range bat staff uh that doesn't really run out it's also used in some later recipes anyway you grab your uh iron hoe and your uh your string and you can make the death scythe now if you grab a piece of string pop it right there oh come on um that'll be that'll be for later iron staff uh, it's pretty much, instead of slowness, you get speed with the Iron Dagger. Uh, and I think it does... It might do less damage, I don't fully remember. But it's a nice little exchange. A little bit more expensive. Uh, it does have different durability. Might actually be the same. But all in all, pretty good. Okay, stop asking me questions on Discord. Next up, Piggy Pig. Let me just grab out my Bat Staff. And just go, wha pow, wha pow. Now it just dropped it. Boom, first try. Yes. This is a reed. Now the reed grabs you and gives you water breathing. And it is a decent weapon. Used in some later crafting recipes, but nothing uh, too exciting. It's pretty. 
actually pretty bad of a weapon. Next up, chicken. I can four shot this. Two shot it. Got a rock. Now the rock is used in some of the later recipes also, but it will, um, it's a bit better than the reed, I think, and it's used in different recipes later on. Uh, next up is the wooden club. You just grab your wood shovel and your other wood shovel, and then you grab your piece of string, tie them together, boom, you got your wood club. This is a decent thing, gives you strength, does as much as a wood axe, but it also gives you strength, so kind of pretty nice. I think you can two shot, three shot cows, which two shot sheep, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice weapon. Uh, let's go back in and I'll drop this off. Next up is the creeper. Um, I'm gonna actually grab out the woods club. Wapow, pow wa pow wa pow wa pow wa pow Just drop the boomstick. I'm getting really lucky with the drops. Normally it doesn't drop right away. Boomstick, my, one of my favorite weapons. Uh, pretty much goes like that. And, wa -poom. You Can't really see this mass of that without a uh, few of the other guys. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up is the wooden chair. You just grab six sticks. You grab them like this. And you just go, wa pow now you got your wooden chair. Now this is pretty low durability, but does vast amounts of damage. You ready? Boom. Boom. Just obliteration. Uh, throw that all to the side. All in all, wooden chair. Pretty simple, strong weapon, but dies quite fast. I think it has three uses. I can't fully remember. Next up, soap and the boomstick. Uh, this will craft axe body spray. Which is a cool thing about the soap real fast. Nice and speed. Nice and speedy. But anyway, grab the soap, grab the boomstick, I think you go like that, boom, you got axe body spray. Now this stuff uh, just shoots little white uh, bits of axe at people, but if you walk up to a mob, like uh, Mr. Mr. Porker's over here, lights him on fire. He's now on fire. So fast way to cook people up, it does not have durability. Um, anything that really shoots stuff does not have durability, rest do. So just keep that in mind. Um, next up... I just put a card punk in because it drops from an iron golem. Okay, give me give me something. Let's do the golden snake snap. Oh, of course, one shot. Medusa head. Drop first try again. Sweet. Pretty much this is a simple thing. Mix and match of a few effects. Accidentally gave it sharpness, not strength and weakness. That's my bad. But yeah. Pretty cool, uh, it does a basic amount of damage, and yeah. Next up is probably another one of my favorites, the Blunder Bass. Flintlock, Boomstick, and Rock. Then we got the Blunder Bass, I was using this in the beginning. But boom, Papa Booey. But it didn't blow up, did it? It blew up in a bedrock square. Pretty much, it does that. It's a bit bigger than the normal boomstick, and it's a bit more long range. Takes a bit of damage from the flintlock. Everything is nice and good. Put the gold in, get here. The reed right here, and the water bucket right here. You get a hose. Now this does a bit more than a fist, but is long range. So it just goes flying. I can probably snipe that chicken if I was better at aiming. Sniped it. Yes, it's dead now. But yeah, it's, it's just a basic weapon. Very long range, though. Uh, next up is going to be the metal bat. Now if you grab this and grab this, like right there, and then grab a string. Metal bat, right here. Uh, it's a lot like the club, except it's stronger. It's going to one-shot the chicken. But pretty much, uh, two shots cows, I know that. Pretty strong weapon. All in all, it's pretty, pretty fun to use. And yeah, decent weapon. Has a pretty good durability, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Next up is the soap bottle. You grab your two gold ingots, put them right there and there. Put an iron right there, and then you got your soap bottle. Not a good weapon, but you can sprint around. You can punch things, too, and it's pretty fun. Grab the redstone, put it right there. Uh, grab the iron, put it right there, there, and there. Xbox controller. Pop the Xbox controller in here. Uh, actually, decent weapon layout. Not the best. Actually, they gave it both speed and slowness, so it doesn't really work that well on that front, but... Other than that, it's pretty fun to use. Next up is a microwave oven, in case you wanted to beat your enemies with microwaves. Um, it goes right there. Now this can, this is a one shot in most things, but it only has two uses, so use it sparingly. Next up is the toothbrush. You grab your black dye, go like this, 
grab your white wool, go like that. Boom, you got a toothbrush. Not the strongest weapon, but not that hard to get. And I think it has decent durability. Can't fully remember. Next up is the Xbox console. Grab all of this. And you want to grab your controllers. Pop them in like this. Pop a buoy, pop a buoy, pop a buoy, pop a buoy. Yeah, that's... Why do I keep saying pop a buoy? I don't know why. Hopefully I'm not stealing out from somewhere. Here's the Xbox. Gives you slowness, but does mass amounts of damage. Uh, against basic enemies, almost exactly like the microwave oven, but against stronger enemies that can take a beating from the microwave oven, they don't take much beatings from the Xbox uh, thing. It does have low durability, though, so keep that in mind. Next up is the Razor. Uh, you grab a piece of flint, put it right there. Grab a piece of... Grab some iron nuggets, put it right there and there. Grab some clay right there, and then put in the main bead of technology, the redstone, to make this de decent rep weapon, the Razor. Now, if I go out here... Uh, walk over to this sheep and just go wha pow wha pow two shots it So yeah, it's pre pretty strong. I like it. It's a pretty fun simple weapon not that expensive Not that hard to get but it's decent now if you grab your diamond levitation rod pop it right there iron block pop it right there Iron nuggets pop it right there there and there I think and put pieces of redstone right there and there uh, No, it's Right there and there. What is it like that? Right? Gosh, I'm trying to remember. How do I not remember this? This doesn't feel right. Okay. Um, maybe it's like that. Wait, hold up. Okay, this may take me a second. I need to figure this out. Funny that you guys come to me for my recipes. Oh, boom. Okay, looks like that. This recipe... Crafts the photon blaster. Now the photon blaster is pretty long range, shoots little lasers, and if you hit something, lights it on fire. Just burns everything. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty pretty strong. No durability, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and then if you grab all of this, the photon blaster goes right there. I remember this one. You put the axe body spray right here. Put the boomstick right there. Put the iron nugget right there. Then you put the iron block right there, you get the photon laser. Now this thing is farther, does more damage, and is all in all a bigger terror. One shots cows, and other cows, and a lot of cows. Just one shots everything. It's pretty strong, and I love it. It's, it's definitely one of the best weapons. Anyway, that'll do it. There's 25 weapons right there. Count them, laugh at them, love them. They're all amazing. And I, I, I had fun making all of them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this helps you out if you ever want to use the add-on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.